You can't pin down exactly why, but you've been having a bad feeling about your boyfriend for several days now. It could be that your gut is trying to tell you something, or it could be that you're simply overthinking it. In this article, I will give you 10 reasons why you might be feeling this way, and 5 ways you can deal with it. Number 1. You're just bored. It's possible that you're really meant to be together, and the reason you've begun to question if he's really the one for you is simply because you're bored. It could be that you've been together for so long that you know each other like the back of your hand. You know what he's going to say before he's even finished speaking and it feels like there's just no more excitement left in the relationship for either of you. Before you break up with your boyfriend, consider the possibility that you just need to spice up your relationship a little. Maybe it's all in your head, unless, of course, you notice the other signs in this list. Number 2. He has changed. Change is a normal part of life, but it's not always easy to accept it especially if it's something drastic or sudden, especially from your partner. It can be as obvious as a career shift, or even be as simple as him finding a new hobby or going through a change in values or beliefs. All of these things, big and small, will have an effect on who he is. Maybe he used to be a laid-back guy when you first started and had all the time in the world for you, but now he's so busy that you can barely have an hour with him. And because he's busy, He might also be uptight that the simple things you can do together no longer make him happy. Try to think of anything about him that's changed. Maybe that's the reason why you feel off about your boyfriend, and not necessarily because he's really not for you. Then ask yourself if you really can't live with the kind of person he's become. Number 3. He's finally showing his true colours. Guys want to impress the girls they like, and sometimes they try to pretend to be a much better version of themselves or someone else entirely. But of course, this is something they can keep up forever. Bit by bit, they turn back into who they really are, and there's no guarantee you'll like what you'll see. This might sound like number two, but where I was talking then about him changing as a person, here I'm talking about him returning to who he is truly before you even met him. This is one of the reasons you shouldn't get married while you're still in the honeymoon phase. You have to reach the point where both of you let down your facade and show your true colours. If you have a bad feeling about your boyfriend, then this is probably one of the reasons. You might ask yourself if you love who he is truly as a person, and not just the perfectly polished version of him that you fell in love with. Number 4. You smell something fishy. You feel like he's been keeping secrets. Perhaps there's just a topic he refuses to touch when you're conversing with one another. Or maybe he tried to change the subject every time you bring it up. This will make you wonder what's the deal with him. Is he cheating? Does he find you untrustworthy? Is he afraid of you? It's incredibly painful to be in a relationship that's full of secrecy, especially if you've always been quite open to one another at the very start of your relationship. And the ultimate cause for secrecy of any kind is fear. If he had nothing to be afraid of, he would see no issue in telling you everything. Maybe he got fired at his job and he's afraid that you'll freak out. Or maybe he's afraid that if he tells you, you'll start to see him differently. If you feel like your boyfriend is hiding something from you, you should try to talk to him about it before it destroys your trust. Trust is incredibly important in relationships and what you have with him will fall apart without it. Important tip, don't castigate him. Whatever it is that he will tell you, try to listen with empathy. Number five, he's not stepping up and being your hero. If a guy is genuine about his feelings for you, then he'll want to be your provider and protector. In other words, he wants to be your hero. Not exactly like Thor though. I know it sounds a bit silly. In this day and age, women don't need someone to rescue them. They don't need a hero in their lives. And I couldn't agree more. But here's the ironic truth. Men do still need to feel like a hero. Because it's built into their DNA to seek out relationships that allow them to feel like a provider. And the kicker? A man won't stay interested in a woman when this thirst isn't satisfied. There's actually a psychological term for what I'm talking about here. It's called the hero instinct. This term was coined by relationship expert James Bauer. You may not be triggering this guy's hero instinct, which is why you have a weird feeling about him. So what can you do? You need to see if you can trigger the hero instinct in your man so you can see if he is willing to truly commit to you. Now, you can't trigger his hero instinct just by giving him admiration next time you see him. Men don't like receiving participation awards for showing up. Trust me. A man wants to feel like he has earned your admiration and respect. How? The best way to learn how to trigger the hero instinct in your guy 
is to watch the free online video that I've linked to in the description below. James Bauer reveals the simple things you can do starting today. If you can trigger this instinct successfully, then you'll see the results immediately. When a man genuinely feels like your everyday hero, he'll become more loving, attentive, and interested in being in a committed, long-term relationship with you. Top tip, some ideas really are life-changing, and for romantic relationships, this is one of them. That's why you should watch the free online video shared in the description below where you can learn how to trigger the hero instinct in your guy.